Alrighty folks, we are back with another video. We got uh, got our New Zealand rabbits yesterday. Uh, male and two females, so they're purebred. Um, they'll get to that six to seven and a half pound mark in about three months. Um, I talked about all that in the last video, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out after this video, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, I will show you the, show you the rabbits we got. So this is the male. He's about four months old, so he's a bit bigger than our females at the moment. Um, Remy, come on, leave him alone. So yeah, this is our male. He's, I don't know, he's gotta be pushing that seven, eight pound mark. He's pretty big already. Uh, yeah, it's there. And then I'll show you the female right here. So over here, See this little fella here. This is a, our female. She, they're only about five weeks old. They're very young yet. They're eating and everything by themselves though, so that's all good. And then this one right here. Remy, come on, leave him alone. This one right here. A white one. I don't know if you can see her here. Yeah, that one right there. She is same age as the other one, but she has the blue gene in her. So they have a very gray rabbit, very rare New Zealand colored rabbit. And uh, they, uh, sorry, the dog's in there. Don't like her chasing them. She see her there she has the genes in her she's not blue herself um, but her mom carries the genes so I should get the odd blue blue or broken blue rabbit out of her which will be really cool um, so yeah these are the the new breeding stock here and I put all the babies from the last one over in here we'll uh, show you them they're all in here Put them in about uh, middle last week or last weekend. So these white ones are the ones we had in here before. The little brown one is one of the little ones there. And then if you look down under here, there's a whole bunch of them. They like to chill underneath the door for, uh... there they are. <laughs> it's just kind of their spot to hide. Um, these little guys here are doing pretty well actually, growing pretty quick, but, um, yeah, probably in the next, probably in five months I'll be able to butcher, butcher the, the small ones, the bigger ones probably in three months or so, I'm hoping. So, yeah, and the, oh boy, hopefully the light's okay. He's shelving here behind me. I uh, I put those in. I just built them right out of pallets um, for storage for like your food. You see here behind me, I got like an extra house, um, just your water, your feed bins, whatever you have extra. It's a good spot to put for storage. And probably this winter, I'm actually going to put a couple cages in here for the females, so that I can um, put like some heat lamps or something on them for when they raise little ones throughout the winter because it gets down about minus 40 Celsius, minus 30 Celsius here um, fairly regularly through January, February. So I can't raise babies out in their other pens when it's that cold. So I thought, well, we'll get a couple metal cages, throw them up here um, for them to uh, put some heat lamps so that I can raise rabbits throughout the winter too. But yeah, so that's kind of the update. I'm also at some point going to throw a fan up in this back corner and maybe one up in this right up in here I don't know if you can see it's kind of dark but up in this area here just so we have some airflow because it's gonna get pretty hot this summer it'll get up to 
35 Celsius, 30 Celsius. So put some fans in, kind of keeps the air moving and uh, keeps them cool. But um, yeah, anyway, let's get these guys some food. I'm just out doing them. I thought, oh, we'll do a video on our new rabbits and all. So let's get a, get some uh, food for them. Dog still has to learn not to chase the rabbits, so kind of a work in progress with her. They're eating about two to two and a half of these a day. So about one, about $24 worth of pellets lasts me about right now for all my rabbits about three weeks. Which, yeah, so it's about eight bucks a eight bucks a week for food. Um, hey, well, this got all wet. We had a pretty big storm coming through, but I've only used maybe four squares out of a bale, so that's pretty awesome. They don't it'll last quite a while, but go in here and we'll feed all these little guys. Let's just tip it like this for the little ones so they can eat. Get in there. They're getting pretty uh, friendly actually. They're not scared when I walk in here anymore. So I'll give them one more half a scoop here to throw in there. And then we'll uh, top their water up. So the older rat, the rabbits that were in those pens, my other breeding ones, um, I'm gonna just be butchering those. Um, keep, if you'd like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. And then you can see the next video, be notified when the next video comes out and that'll be butchering those rabbits. I'm gonna show how to butcher them, how I process them quickly and um, humanely, I guess is the word for that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, um, butcher those and uh, that way we won't have any wrecks it'll all be New Zealand purebred New Zealand rabbits for our meat and I might sell a litter here here and there for uh, it'll pay for all the other litters food and stuff so be pretty much free then to to raise these rabbits if you do it that way so yeah anyway let's uh, carry on with getting these guys all fed and watered and Yeah, I can get a little bit of a better shot of this white one here. They're just little fellas, but on over there, so um, yeah. I'm just gonna fill up the water, go over. Top. What are you doing, Remy, huh? What you doing? Crazy dog. I love water. Yeah, it's got this big water. It seems to do pretty well for them. They don't empty it yet, so just gotta keep an eye because 
especially when it's warm out, the rabbits, they drink a lot. Well, as anything would when it's hot, they drink quite a bit, so. So, um, I'm also gonna try, I was talking to the guy he's got, that I got these rabbits from. Um, he, uh, he's got a lot of them. He's been doing it for quite a while, but he frees him some um, barley and uh, oats and stuff like that. Um, kind of breaks up on the pellet and it's cheaper. So if you buy that, it's like 14 bucks for a bag instead of 24 for the pellets. You still have to give them pellets, but obviously they don't eat as many pellets. So I might be implementing that into their diet as well to see if that uh, cuts down a bit on the pellet food and you know, it's just a little bit cheaper and a little bit more of a variety for them as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a, that's an update on the rabbits. Um, so hopefully by, I don't know, December-ish, I can uh, breed these and get another, another batch out there. So that'll be pretty awesome. But um, yeah, so. On another note, this bed here behind me, you can see it? It's got rabbit poop and stuff in it now. So I was gonna just put dirt in it. So I'll just put all the rabbit poop in there. But I'm gonna scoop the rabbit poop out. And I wanna try putting a hydroponic setup, kind of. So I'm just gonna lay a bunch of plastic in the bottom, fill it with water, and uh, uh, put that, make kind of like a, uh, a tea out of that. Um, out of the rabbit manure and put that in the water and just float some some foam on top with holes so you can grow your lettuce and stuff just in water, no dirt. So that'll be another video as well. I'm hoping to do that here soon. Um, it's just temporary so it's not a permanent setup because obviously you want to do it a lot differently if it was permanent. I just want to try it, see how it works. So that'll be another video. That's kind of another video idea. So stay tuned for that. That would be awesome to try and see if that actually works because um, yeah, it's water's cheaper and easier to get than dirt. Well, good dirt anyway, at least around here. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that'll wrap it up for this video. Um, stay tuned for the butchering video that will be, uh, coming up next. Um, and we will catch you all in the next one. Thank you.